Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made an order from any online store, really, um, but especially a succulent store. So I am really excited about this shipment. It's from Mountain Crest. I'm already getting soil all over the place. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. This was an early Christmas gift. And uh, we're gonna check out what's inside today. I did order a number of different things. We've got some succulents in here. I've got some cactus. Here at the top is a 10% off coupon. I actually got it for a pretty good price, which is why I wanted to make the order in the first place. All right, so I'm just gonna get a little messy. And then this is actually really nice to reuse and I prefer it to styrofoam because I hate the feel of styrofoam. Uh, one of the things about Mountain Crest is that they, at least the last few times I ordered from them, which I guess was probably like a year ago or so, is that they ship in soil so it does get a little bit messy and they don't individually wrap, but they clearly pack this in well enough that uh, things stay in place. And they did stay in place. They're just covered in a little, little packing stuff. All right, so I just get a little visual of the inside there. So I'm gonna pull them out one at a time. I'm gonna pull them out one at a time um, and show you. I think I did get it this time. I went for it since it was a sale. Uh, some of my Echeveria, my big Echeveria bowl, died over the summer. Yeah, I'm really that. Well, I mean, they're kind of still alive, but they're like just hanging on because the summer was really hot and we had a period where we didn't get any rain and then we had a period where we got a lot of rain and I keep all mine outdoors. So I'll have a lot of itch in here and I'll probably go with taking these out first. Okay, so hopefully this is a better view. Obviously the inside of the box, but also all of the plants that are gonna be in here because I will want to shake out some of the, the soil. When I replant them, I'll do a better job at it. Um, so this first one is an Echeveria Cubic Frost. I do have another one of these. Uh, I actually have a crusted one of these too. Uh, looks nice. Okay, you want me the next one? Thank you. Right, I'm just gonna turn it up, sit down, give it a little shake. Totally doesn't matter to me that they're dirty because they need to be watered anyway, so. I do not have this one. I love when I get one that I don't have. Treya Mindo. I can't even read this. I can't even read what that is. I'll figure it out and post it. It's a cute one. Um, most of them look pretty green right now, but as we get them into the sun, they should brighten up. Get a little more of that out. Hold on out. All right. It's very blue prints. I do not have a blue prints. I have black prints. So, there's this guy. Some pretty big leaves here. All right, I'm getting excited to, to plant all these now. It'll be my day tomorrow. I don't have this one either. I want to look similar though. This is fun. This is, I know it is fun. An Echeveria Rea Tanaka. Nice. Looks like the tips are a little bit red, so they'll probably get redder once I put them in the sun. Okay. This one is so pretty. This one is so pretty. Looks similar to that other one. Oh, here. Um, this one's a little, this one's got a broken leaf, which is fine because it looks good otherwise. I do not have one of these either. Uh, yeah, that I don't know. This one also has a little bit of red tips. But it's a good set together. I don't need you to turn them upside down, I will do that, thank you. Okay, I'm going to try a mirror. This one's pretty fat. This one's gonna be hard to get out. I might even have to cut it out of the pot. Again, the tips. Looks good. They all look really healthy though. Totally covered in soil. It's all right. This one's probably the black prince. 
It is not. It's a Serana. Echeveria Serana. That's fun. So with the <clears throat> with the Echeveria sets, you don't choose what comes in it. They'll just send you a random set. And I think I got nine. So what are we up to? Is this seven? This is seven. Hold on, let's see. Okay. It's funny because some of the ones that I thought I was going to get, I didn't get it all. Oh, no, but there it is the pearl. <laughs> that was what I thought we were going to get. It's a very dark moon with a fancy number. So it's a specific hybrid. That's cool. And it looks like it'll darken up also when that goes outside. So that's seven, eight. And this is number nine. This is a pearl. Nuremberg. These ones are always pretty. We had a really pretty one with variegation. One second, Alessia. With variegation, but it also got attacked by the sun over the summer. This one's really nice, though. Good one, set. Real pretty. Wider leaves, actually, than the one we had. So that's the Echeveria set. Let me do a quick close up on that. For you, it looks really nice. Is it? I don't know which one's my favorite yet. I'll have to decide. All right, back over here. I did get a Horthia. <laughs> Figured if I'm getting a bigger order, gotta get at least one. This is a Retusa Multilineata. So it's got this really pretty, you can see the really pretty lines going down the leaf windows. I love a Retusa. So any type of uh, hybrid. I'm all about and some babies. That's always fun. Another little guy on the side. Obviously, they need to be watered. They'll plump up a little bit when it's watered. I think I did get one. Yes, I did. One more for you. Because I can never have too many. Sure. Um, it's very a minima. And this one doesn't have the tag, but this is what a minima looks like. So it's got to be it. But they stay small and they're so cute. I made a video about about them. And why they're my favorite. So that's this one. And this one. And then I think my two cactus after. Oh, this is the bonus one. This is a really nice bonus one. I like this. I'm not entirely sure what it is. But it's got nice thick leaves here. Um, it's probably an Echeveria hybrid or something. Yeah, this gives me like ghost plant vibes a little bit. Maybe a pack of area. I don't know, but I like it. And I'm actually going to put it with the Echeveria when I put them all up together. All right, so we have two more. Yes, two more. <laughs> oh, that's my, my little minima tag in there. Two more cactus. Whoa, that's way smaller than I thought it was going to be, but wow, is it cute. All right, I feel, I feel okay about it because it was on sale. I know it was on sale. Um, or I got everything on a good sale, so I feel a little bit better about so this being small. so darn small. Holy cow. Um, but this is so cute. This is a uh, baseball plant. Um, actually, it's not a cactus, I should say. One cactus and one euphorbia obesa. Okay, it's adorable, but it is small. All right, so the last one, the one I'm most excited about because I do not know what type of variegation it's gonna have, uh, is a chin cactus. I have a few of them, purples and greens, so I'm hoping that this one has a little bit of brighter colors. Let's see. I hope it's, uh, it's all of the colors. I, I hope it's all of the colors too. <laughs> all right, is this one not? Oh, it is. Oh, yes. All right, I'm happy with this one. I'm going to take it out really carefully so I don't stab myself. Oh, yeah, this is a... Okay, I'm really happy with this. This is kind of exactly what I was hoping for. It's green and red. Christmas colors. It, perfect. Perfect for the holiday season. <clears throat> Obviously, it needs a little bit of green and the darker colors to stay alive, but it's got a good amount of the reds and kind of orange. I'm really happy with this one. And this one's a good size. Yeah. A little dried out, but uh, we can fix that. 
All right, so that is... It's green and red like our Christmas tree. Like our Christmas tree. So that is our order for today. Pretty big order here. My new favorite is this one. Your new favorite is that one, I'm glad. Um, and I'm pretty happy with this overall. Again, the only one um, that was unexpected was just the size of this one, but it looks great, so I'm happy. And it's it's clearly got good roots, because when I was moving it around, it was, was kind of stuck. Uh, yeah. So all of this for a good price. I ended up getting the shipping free. It was a certain percentage off. So um, yeah, it was worth it. And I'm feeling happy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to learn more.